these days, it's hard to find a real hero. But the town of Mitchell, Indiana, has a famous one. Astronaut Virgil Gus Grissom. In his lifetime, Gus earned two bachelor degrees, one in mechanical engineering and one in aeronautics. He flew 100 combat missions in Korea as a fighter pilot, which earned him the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Air Medal with an Oak Leaf Cluster. An accomplished flight instructor and test pilot, he was hand-selected to be in the NASA space program. He was the sole pilot for the Mercury Redstone 4 space flight. He was the command pilot for the Gemini 3 space flight. And with that, he became the first person to be in space twice. Not to mention, he helped design NASA flight controls and cockpits, furthering the U.S. space program. He became a national celebrity as a NASA astronaut before his life tragically ended during a pre-launch test. January 27th, 1967, the oxygen inside the Apollo 1 capsule ignited and the explosion killed Grissom and his two fellow astronauts. But it all started here, in the small town of Mitchell, Indiana, on the corner of 8th Street and what's now known as Grissom Avenue. At the humble home where he grew up. Often we forget that greatness starts somewhere. Truthfully, it can start anywhere. At Gus Grissom's boyhood home, the sun rises and falls every day, like it did when Gus lived here. There's a calmness in the air that blows the flag over the porch, where Gus walked out to play with his friends and go to school with no clue where his life would go. The screen door has a G in the center for Grissom, a name that will be remembered for the ages. But when he lived here, for all he knew, he'd marry his school sweetheart, get a job in town, and live the rest of his days happily ever after in Mitchell, Indiana. Gus delivered morning and evening papers, worked at a meat market, gas station, clothing store, and later built school buses at a factory. When he went to Purdue, he could have even been the person that made your meal as he was a part-time cook. But life had other plans for him. In the yard, there's a stone that says the nearby tree was once a seed on a spacecraft sent into the heavens and planted here as a memorial. But in the backyard, a large, round maple tree reaches up to the sky. You can only wonder if Gus climbed this tree, sat on its branches, and looked up to a place he never imagined he'd go. And that's where dreams start.
on nearby 409 South 6th Street, a limestone Gemini rocket aims toward the sky in Gus Grissom's honor. It stands on the site of where his elementary once was. A sign in the back states that even the bricks of the school itself were used to build the wall around the monument. Never in his wildest dreams, sitting at his desk at school, could he have ever imagined the school gone and a monument placed here in his honor. Just down the road on Highway 60 is Spring Mill State Park. If you turn right after the gatehouse, therein lies the Gus Grissom Memorial. Inside are mementos from his life, from his less than stellar report cards to his accomplishments as an astronaut. It has Gus Grissom's Air Force uniform, his space helmet, his space suit. and the Gemini space capsule he commanded, called the Molly Brown. Named after a lady that survived the Titanic disaster. Gus Grissom's life tells a story that resonates with all of us. It's a story of roadblocks, tragedy, and victory. But with one foot in front of the other, if we keep on moving, and aim high, there's no telling where our dreams will take us. <laughs>